In this video, we're going to look at the TNN classification of three organs in the abdomen, that is the gallbladder, the colon and the rectum together, and the stomach. So the first three T stages that we see in all these three abdominal cancers are TX, T0, and TIS. So let's leave that apart. Then we have T1, T2, T3, and T4. So the confusion arises in which cancers have T1A, T1B, and which one has T4A and T4B. So, among these three, which one is the smallest organ? I would say the gallbladder is the smallest among these three organs. So, the gallbladder being the smallest gets the subdivision in the smallest number T1. So, the gallbladder has T1A and T1B. Next in size is the colon as compared to the stomach. Stomach can get hugely distended when a lot of food is taken. So, the colon has T4A and T4B. Colon being bigger than gallbladder gets the subdivision in the big number, 4. Next organ is the stomach, which is the biggest among these three. So the stomach gets the subdivision in both T1 as well as T4. So it has T1A, T1B, T2, T3, T4A, and T4B. Isn't that great? Now let's take a look at the various layers of these viscera. First we have the epithelial layer and then the lamina propria and the muscular layer in the mucosa, that is the muscularis mucosae. Next we have the submucosa, then muscularis propria, then a connective tissue layer which is known as the perimuscular connective tissue or the subserosal connective tissue because the next layer is the serosa. After that will come the adjacent organs. So this connective tissue layer can be referred to as subserosal or perimuscular. In case of colon cancer, it can be uh, referred to as pericolic or perirectal connective tissue. Right? What I want you to remember is the muscularis propria layer is T2. It's T2 with some exceptions. Now we're going to take a look at the various T stages of stomach cancer. T2 is muscularis propria. That's what you need to remember. And based on that, let's take a look at T1B. So what is the layer before muscularis propria? It's submucosa. So T1B is invasion of submucosa. And T1A will obviously be lamina propria. T3 is going to be perimuscular connective tissue invasion. Then we have T4A and T4B. So T4A is invasion of the serosa and T4B will be invasion of the adjacent organs. Time to look at the T stages of colorectal cancer. So the T stages are T1, T2, T3, T4A and T4B. So T2 is muscular propria. T3 is pericolic perirectal connective tissue or subserosal connective tissue T4A is invasion of the serosa or visceral peritoneum and T4B is invasion into adjacent organs so T1 is going to be invasion in the submucosa what about lamina propria? there is no T1A for lamina propria so in this case since there is no T1A invasion into the lamina propria is going to be included in TIS so TIS is going to be carcinoma in situ, intraepithelial or invasion into the lamina propria. Now let's take a look at the T stages of gallbladder cancer. This is going to be interesting. So the muscle layer was supposed to be T2, but hey, there's no submucosa in the gallbladder. So T1B is going to be blank. So we gotta move the muscle layer up into T1B. Now T2 is blank. So T1B is the muscle layer, unlike the other cancers. And T1A is invasion of lamina propria. Now, the perimuscular connective tissue, which was T3 in the other cancers, is going to be T2 in this case. Now, T3 is perforation of the serosa or invasion into the liver or involvement of other extrahepatic organs like the stomach, duodenum, colon, 
pancreas, omentum, or extrahepatic bile ducts. Well, it should be one of them. If it invades two of these structures, from stomach, colon, duodenum, extrahepatic bile ducts, pancreas, omentum, if it involves two of these, then it becomes T4. And also, if it involves the hepatic artery or the portal vein, then that's also T4. To remember the regional lymph nodes end stage, we're going to have a short story over here. Since the gallbladder is the smallest organ, it gets only N1 and N2. That's it. No subdivisions, no N3. Only N1 and N2. So that's very easy for gallbladder. The stomach, being the largest organ among these three, says that I want N1, N2 and N3. I want three, much more than the gallbladder. And in the three, N3 stage, it wants a subdivision as well, N3A and N3B. So the stomach is so greedy, it wants three as well. And that, on top of that, he wants a subdivision in that. Now let's look at the colorectal carcinoma. Now the colon being smaller in diameter than the stomach, he cannot argue much with the stomach. He cannot get the same as stomach. He cannot get N3. So he says, okay, I will make do with N1 and N2 only. But I'm not going to be uh, equal to, similar to the gallbladder. I cannot compromise. I got to be at least a bit more than the gallbladder. So it says, I'll divide my N1 into A, B, C and N2 into A and B. So, gallbladder has no subdivisions and low numbers, N1 and N2. Stomach, being the biggest organ, gets three numbers and subdivision in the biggest number, N3. In order to remember the regional node metastasis of the stomach cancer, let's do it this way. Do you know that there are 16 lymph node stations of the stomach, as given by the Japanese? So. If there are 16 or more nodes involved, then it is 3B. Remember 16 lymph node stations? Remember 16 nodes. So 3B is 16 or more nodes. There is no scientific relation over here. Those are stations. Those are groups of nodes. That 16 and this 16 has no relation. But just, you can remember 16 in this way. Then, In those 16 lymph node stations, the first six stations are right pericardial, left pericardial, lesser curvature, greater curvature, suprapyloric, subpyloric. Those are the first six. Then comes the arteries, left gastric, common hepatic, and celiac artery. So the first six are non-artery. So you can again remember six. Those are the perigastric lymph nodes. There are six perigastric lymph nodes. So N1 and N2 are going to be one to six nodes. Uh, N1 specifically is going to be one to two nodes and three to six nodes is N2. 16 or more is N3B. N3A is seven to 15 nodes involved. The regional node metastasis for gallbladder is quite simple. N1 is involvement of nodes which is near the gallbladder. Involvement of nodes along the cystic duct, the bile duct, the hepatic artery, or the portal vein. That's N1. N2 is involvement of lymph nodes along the ciliate artery, superior mesenteric artery, paracaval or para aortic lymph nodes. Next is the Regional node metastasis of, that is end stage of, colorectal carcinoma. So here we have um, colorectal carcinoma, didn't get 3, didn't get N3, but he argued and he fought for his subdivisions in N1 and N2. 
So N1A, N1B, N1C. N1C is quite different, okay? And then we have N2A and N2B. So in case of colorectal carcinoma, regional node metastasis, we'll have to remember a number 1247, 1247. I don't have any story to help you memorize this easily, but just remember the numbers 1, 2, 4, 7. So if there's only one node involved, then that is N1A. Then 2 to 3 nodes is N1B. 4 or more nodes, 4 to 6 that is, is N2A. And N2B is 7 or more nodes. So we have the numbers 1, 2, 4, and 7. So what is N1C? N1C is tumor deposits in the subserosal layer or the mesentery or the non-peritonealized pericolic or perirectal connective tissue. That's all for the T and N staging for these three cancers. The last one is the metastasis. When we talk about metastasis, we mean distant metastasis, isn't it? M1 is distant metastasis. So when we say distant, it's far, it's long. So in this case, among these three, which is the long organ? It's the colon. Colon is the longest organ among these three. So colon, colon will have more number of metastasis. All right, that's easy to remember. Colon will get M1 and M2. Gallbladder and stomach, they have M0 and M1, just like any other cancer. There's no metastasis and distant metastasis present. But for colon, colorectal carcinoma, N1 is metastasis to an organ like liver, lung, ovaries, or non-regional lymph nodes. Whereas M2 is involvement of two or more of these structures or organs. Or the peritoneum involvement of the peritoneum is going to be m2 thanks for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button leave some comments and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content